This is a SIP math version of the risk return model of Nobel Prize winning economist Harry Markowitz. It gave birth to modern portfolio theory in the 1950s. In this model, the returns of seven assets are stored in a library of log normal SIPs of 1,000 trials each. Right now, we have 75% of our money in multi-cap and 25% in cash. The blue dot displays the variance or risk of the portfolio on the x-axis and the average return on the y-axis. The histogram down here shows us the distribution of return. The red line is the efficient frontier. This denotes the minimum level of risk that can be achieved for any level of return. The current portfolio is not efficient because there are portfolios to the upper left of the blue dot that have higher average return and lower risk. Every time the portfolio is changed, 1,000 trials for each of the seven assets are instantly run through the model. Let's see if I can make this portfolio more efficient. There we go, I got right up to the efficient frontier. Actually, I cheated finding that efficient portfolio. I found the whole efficient frontier using the built-in solver from Excel. It works great with SIP math. We'll show you how to do that as well on a future video from probabilitymanagement.org. Now I mentioned that this model is based on a SIP library of log normal returns. And judging by the way the subject is taught, it's as if the log normal distribution was welded into modern finance at the factory. But another possible assumption for asset returns is called fat-tailed because it puts more weight out of the tails of the distribution. And the beauty of SIP math is that probability distributions are just data. So I can swap out my log normal library for a fat-tailed library so I can see how the portfolio would behave under those assumptions. Fat-tailed, log normal, fat-tailed, 7,000 total trials with every swap. Visit us at probabilitymanagement.org to download the sample files demonstrated here. Or better yet, become a member for access to the SITMATH modeler tools and other reserved materials. Please visit us at www.probabilitymanagement.org to learn more and to support this important nonprofit effort.